Okay, so here's my latest, hopefully a little better record on Levitron height. This is the same 110 pound Levitron base with in 52 magnets and no stem on the top to get the weight light. So as you can see, there's nothing on top. I can go under it and this is a standard one gallon milk jug. So it's six inches high. So I think we've hit seven inches here. And we'll measure it a little bit more accurately here. With a right side up. So, 100 and, well, it's bouncing around, but 180, 185 maybe on average, 184 to 7, anyway, about 180 five millimeters, so that's just over seven inches. So that beats the six and a half I had on the last video. And as, so yeah, here's the, here's the milk jug. A standard gallon milk jug. I'll show, hopefully it's stable enough that it won't crash into the base. So here's the base of the Levitron. It's 12 six inch by four inch by one inch magnets. So stacked three inches high, four of them. And a lot of tweaking <laughs> to get that balanced right and one extra little magnet for this fine tweaking down here. And then a lot of foam so that if it does land without my cover on, it won't be quite so disastrous. Now this doesn't last as long as it does with the big top on there. And I'm gonna cover this up again before it drops. And put an extra piece of foam underneath to take the landing. You see the holes in it. Oh, most of those big holes are from the large top that I did for the time record. So this one, well, I'm not even timing it, but it, uh, it lasts on the order of five, six minutes if I get a good spin. Yeah. You can look at the other video that I'll have a point or two for the 11 minute spin. But that's what this top is three quarters of an inch diameter. Yeah, you can see, I think I've already showed nothing around it. <laughs> yeah. So it's just sitting seven inches up in the air above the base. Anyway, this top is three quarters of an inch diameter and a quarter inch high. The other one is, that I did the time record, is 38 millimeters, so inch and a half, and 10 millimeters thick. So that's why it does a longer time, unless there's more inertia compared to the air drag. Anyway, this one's getting close to dropping here. So watch it. Makes a lot less of a thud than the big one. To best of my knowledge, this is the new Levitron spinning top height record of just over 7 inches, so 185 millimeters, and there it drops.